as I said, one of the other major areas of interest is the BI world. Business intelligence is becoming mission critical within organizations. When you're talking about trying to upgrade systems, get resources, get things moving forward within your company, what you're really seeing is that the higher-ups, the decision makers, they need to be able to see the value of that investment. And that value comes back from the idea of business intelligence. When they are able to see the information they need, analyze the data that they actually possess, and make good decisions based on having better data, that justifies the effort, the investment that, they, that you want to put in to upgrading your systems. Now, Microsoft has a very specific roadmap that they're looking going forward from here. For one, they want to increase web-based access to all data platforms, utilizing things like SharePoint. That is one of their core front ends, whether for building dashboards or integrating things like Excel and Visio through the Excel services and Visio services, building in the reporting services. They've created a hub in, some, in SharePoint where regardless of which methodology you want to use to access your data, you have a platform that's going to give you the ability to provide that information on the web. Now, in addition to that, they've also improved the infrastructure behind their reporting methodology to make it more compliant with the new technologies coming down the road. One of the things we'll talk about briefly later is the idea of PowerView, or it's often been referred to as Project Crescent as they were building up towards the release. And your power view also takes advantage of the Excel functionality, takes advantage of the idea of being able to live manipulate information. They've changed their web interfaces to be HTML5 compliant going forward. And so their process is to position themselves so that all of your data can be access, accessed through their platforms directly on the web whether it's in your browser, on your desktop, your laptop, or your mobile devices.